I have come tonight to the heart of Heathfield, the heart of our home, the chapel, to give you our latest update. Now I've been told by Father David, if I point in this direction, you'll be able to share the amazing total that we have achieved in the last just over 24 hours. Ladies and gentlemen, this is phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. So thank you all so very much. Um, we were supposed to have us all together in the heart of Heathfield tonight for our songs of praise, but instead we've adapted and overcome. Heathfield Chapel, the heart of Heathfield School, a, a building that represents so much of what we are about uh, this particular 46 hours, a building that stands at the heart of Heathfield, a building that represents uh, generations of Heathfield girls who have gone before. Uh, because of uh, the present situation, uh, for obvious reasons, we are unable to do exactly as we planned, to have a live uh, singing of hymns sponsored uh, by our whole school community, outside and inside. But that opportunity will come and you can even now uh, vote and donate to sponsor a hymn uh, which we will sing in due course uh, at some point when we can all be together and perform songs of praise. What's going to happen in the next few minutes is I want to talk uh, briefly, because I am always brief, about the chapel, about its place in the school, about what it represents. Um, and then we will have one treat. Uh, we will have one song that in some ways is always topping the list of favourites amongst the Heathfield School community. In 1899, Eleanor Beatrice Wyatt uh, founded this fabulous school and her vision was, as so many of them will tell you, to see the sky. It was uh, to be a place not only where physically they could look up and see uh, the fresh air and the blue sky above them, but where they could, in uh, the words of a famous pop song, uh, reach for the stars, uh, where they could go above and beyond and be so much more uh, than uh, they even knew they could. It was a place where young women could reach their potential. Uh, where they would receive an education that was fully rounded and holistic, uh, where they would become fully mature human beings, uh, contributing to the world around them. But in 1899, there was but a, a room in the school building which was set aside uh, for the girls to come together uh, to offer their morning and evening prayers. Um, and it was five years later uh, that eventually this building was added to the school. And it was an interesting story because the sum in uh, 1900 when the vision was first made was 1,500 pounds. That was a lot of money. Um, and by well, 1903 or so, they had only raised a quarter of that sum. Such was the figure, such was the amount they needed to raise. Only a quarter had been raised. And they pushed and they pushed and they went out to public benefaction and donations and through some extraordinary uh, generosity, uh, they were able to reach the sum that they wanted. And in 1904, the chapel was finally built and opened for the school to come together as a community. But it's not just this chapel that represents the first in a long line of additions to the school fabric. There is within the chapel, uh, even now, uh, memorials to those who have contributed along the way maybe financially, uh, maybe spiritually, maybe emotionally, uh, but they all in their own way have made their mark. Everyone knows that a Heathfield girl has her name carved into the fabric of the chapel. So I'm surrounded even now by 122 years of uh, Heathfield girls whose names are, are around me. But they're not the only ones who have left their mark. Uh, in uh, the year 1906 um, or something like that, uh, the head girl, Audrey Dick Cunningham, or at least the one who was to become head girl, Audrey Dick Cunningham, sadly died uh, during the Christmas vacation. As a result of that, 
The east window, which unfortunately you can't see right now because it's dark, but the east window was put in in her memory, a lasting memorial to a particular member of our community, but again, through the generosity of people giving uh, to adorn this building, but also to memorialize those uh, who had played such an important part in their lives. And as the years progressed, uh, that tradition of giving, of, uh, as Mrs. Boyer likes to say, paying it forward, uh, became something of a Heathfield tradition. And in due course, the stem, the smat, the swimming pool, all of these buildings were added to not only to improve the facilities that we offer here, but to ensure that every young woman who passes this way has an opportunity to experience and to benefit from everything that Heathfield has and to become more fully the young woman who is ready to face the world. It's a story which I think should inspire us in these 46 hours. All the activities that are going on, all the fun that this community is having uh, is just part of a story in which we are all digging deep and uh, giving of our very best to ensure that we uh, make this building, the chapel, the school, all of its facilities, even better for the future generations of Heathfield girls who in turn will have their names carved in this chapel. Remember, in 1900, the cost of this chapel was 1,500, a princely sum and it took three years just to raise a quarter of that but in a very short space of time through the generosity of many and through digging deep and recognizing the value that this place could add to the whole school community the money was raised the chapel stands and has done throughout the school's history as we look to the future and the sixth form center and all that it will bring to our school community we are now in the same place, appealing for that final push that will take us to the place where the Sixth Form Centre will stand sparkly and new um, and will be uh, the benefit that future generations of Heathfield girls will enjoy. They will in their turn see the sky. They in their turn will reach for the stars. They in their turn will benefit from all that Heathfield has to offer. Please sponsor a hymn. Uh, I look forward to the opportunity when we can, as a school community, sing those hymns for you and celebrate what this place represents, the foundation of everything that is Heathfield. But in the meantime, to please particularly uh, those uh, generations of Heathfield young women that I have known, here is a hymn that they would pick, I'm sure, as their number one choice. It is Jerusalem. And now, 